Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do this short real analysis proof. It says prove that the infinite sum of 7 to the n over 2 to the 3n is a convergent series and find its sum. So we're given a series or infinite sum and we're also told that it's convergent but we have to prove that and once we're done proving that we also have to find the sum of this infinite series. So let's go ahead and get started. When you're in a real analysis class you're going to want to identify what type of infinite series you're given because it's going to probably fall into one of a couple basic categories. So I'm going to go over two broad categories of infinite series and how you can prove by identifying them and defining them as a certain type of series whether they're converging or diverging. So one of those is going to be the P series and this takes on the form of the infinite sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the P. So you have n that goes from 1 to infinity and then you're going to have n exponentially be taken to some number p. This p series is going to converge by definition if p is greater than 1. So if you have a series that looks something like this, the p series converges by definition if p is greater than 1. So if you have the infinite sum of 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the 3, for example, this would converge. If you have 1 over n to the 2, that would converge, etc. So this type of broad category of series is called a p-series. And the second example is going to be a geometric series, so an infinite geometric series and this example in this problem is actually a geometric series. So a geometric series has the following form. A geometric series is broadly defined as the sum from 1 to infinity of a times r to the n, where a is basically a coefficient, it's going to be a number, r is a number or a ratio of numbers, to an index n, and this general form is a geometric series, an infinite geometric series, and it converges by definition if the absolute value of r is less than 1. So r will usually be a ratio, and if that ratio, the absolute value of it, is less than 1, then it converges by definition. So an infinite geometric series converges by definition if the absolute value of the ratio is less than 1. So if we go back to our problem, our original series that we're given is finding the infinite sum from n is equal to 1 to infinity of 7 to the n over 2 to the 3 n. We can rewrite this and prove its convergence as follows. So let's take 7 to the n over 2 to the 3 n. We can rewrite that as 7 to the n over 2 to the 3 is equal to 8. So we can rewrite that as 8 to the n. And then you have 7 to the n in the numerator and 8 to the n in the denominator. So we can rewrite that as 7 over 8 to the n. And then the n, if you distribute it, would go both to the numerator and the denominator. So we can rewrite our original geometric infinite sum as the sum from n is equal to 1 to infinity of 7 over 8 to the n. So in this case, after we do some simple simplification, we see that we have the form of a times r to the n. In this case, we don't really have a coefficient a, we can just think that a is equal to 1, and our r is equal to 7 over 8, and then n is our index. So for the proof, I'm going to say let r equal to 7 over 8, then the absolute value of r is less than 1 because the absolute value of 7 over 8 is just 7 over 8, which is less than 1. And then I can write that the sum from n is equal to 1 to infinity of 7 to the n over 2 to the 3n is equal to the sum of n is equal to 1 to infinity of 7 over 8n. And this is by definition a convergent geometric series. So the proof, I'm proving this convergence just by identifying this as a geometric series and knowing the definition that a geometric series always converges when r is less than 1. The absolute value of r is less than 1. Now we have done the first half of the problem, which is prove that the infinite series converges. And the second part of the problem, we have to find the sum. So that also has a formula. And the formula is as follows. For an infinite geometric series, 
the sum of that is going to have the formula a times r over 1 minus r. And this is for the infinite series where the index starts at 1 and then goes to infinity. So you just want to make sure that you have the correct index. You can also calculate this if n starts at 0, but the formula is going to be a little bit different. So in this case, this is a formula for the type of infinite series that we have. So again, like we said before, in our case, we don't really have a constant coefficient. It's just going to be 1. So 1 times anything is itself. And then we have that r is equal to 7 over 8. And then in the denominator, we're going to have 1 minus 7 over 8. So that's going to be 7 over 8 over 1 over 8, which is equal to 7. So for this problem, we proved that the infinite series is convergent because we identified it as a infinite geometric series where the absolute value of r is less than 1. And then we use the formula a times r over 1 minus r to get the sum. And in that case, that gave us that the sum is equal to 7. And we are done with this problem.